Hello everyone, I'm Aditya and today I'm gonna go step by step to access dark web using the most secure method available on the internet. I've already made two videos related to darknet on this topic. One is talking dark web websites of 2023, one is talking the legal website of all time and the step by step procedure to enter the dark web. But the problem is that was basically theoretical. I didn't screen record or show you anything related to how to connect to the dark browser or how to like browse anything on the dark web. So this time I'll be screen recording and showing you every single step of the process. So without further ado, let's hop into it. I'm sharing the screen. So this is where you come. See, there are a lot of ways to access dark web. First is directly install to our browser on your Windows, Ubuntu, whatever OS you're using. Connect to a VPN or well, if you just want to do it as fast as you can, you don't need to connect to VPN as well, DAW has three relays. So just connect to the internet and it's done. Now the second option is maybe use a virtual box, use VPNs and kind of a bit more secure setup, right? But we're not going to talk about any two of those. We are going to talk about the final step that is kind of a standard a uh, most secure step that will normal people like us can use and that is using tails this one and all you need to do is have this a usb drive 8 gb or more works even 4 gb i think can work for this it's not a problem so how tails actually work is it doesn't store anything you do that means literally it doesn't store anything you do it works on ram not on your hard disk it works on ram and as you know anything on ram gets completely disappeared once you shut down your system that's how tails work as well everything that you do the catch the cookies the files the search history everything that you just do will get disappeared once you shut it down that's all there is to it also as you can see in the screen once you scroll down on how tails work, there's the same thing. Everything you do disappears. Also, there's this three relay system. See, passing it through three relays. It's basically a relay race with three people, right? First handles the bait into the second, second handles the bait into the third, and third goes to the finish line. Now, third one doesn't know who the first one was and who the first one re received the bait in from. The first one knows who he received the bait in from, but he doesn't know where the final, like the exit finish point is. It's the same way. Your first relay node knows your location, your IP address, but he doesn't know what you are searching basically. And the final relay node knows what you're searching, but he doesn't know who you are, who's searching that site. So it's basically secure. That's the easiest way I could say that. So all you need to do here is install Tails. And also you have to do this, download only for USB sticks because we will be using our Tails OS on a USB drive so that it's the most secure way. Now when you download it, you'll get an image file and I have already done it, I'll store it here. You'll get this file, Tails AMD64, uh, version can be different because I'm making this video in December 2023 so if you're watching later the versions can change the second thing you need to do is basically get see that's an image file you need to burn it on a USB so that you can make your USB a bootable OS operating system of tails right so you need to burn the image on your USB drive and one of the tools you can use is Belena now if you're using Windows it's simple just go to download azure and there's the windows one even for linux one it, it will work but sometimes it doesn't so you need you can go here wow. just give me a sec you can go to this daven.dev packages and then you'll get here and you can just use this okay now this is the version and you can get the version from here so the the working latest version this so you just have to place 1.18.11 in place of that six stars that you had 
or you can just download it from here as well. It's easy, just a GUI approach. So, as we can see, we have downloaded Tails, we have downloaded Belina. Now, also, let me show you by putting this pen drive. See, I've already burned my image on this pen drive, but I'll just show you how I do it. Just a sec. Okay, so I have inserted my pen drive here. Now, you have to open Belena first of all. See, flash from file. Here, you have to choose the Tails image that you just downloaded. And you have to choose the pen drive that you're gonna make the bootable OS for. And then flash. I have already done this, so I won't do this. It will take a few minutes, but that's all. Okay, that's a simple approach. Now comes the part. Now what you need to do is restart. Okay, I have to stop sharing here. I'll record it by my phone. Okay, so one, two, three, stop sharing. Now once you restart, you gotta press F2, F10 or F2, F10 or F12, whatever key system is used in your laptop to open the BIOS menu, BIOS bootloader or boot menu whatever you say. Now after that you just have to wait. So yeah, this is the Tails bootloader. Just select the first one and this is booting Tails 5.21. Yeah. So here you just have to start Tails and the tail so it will load boot up or load up and now we just have to connect to the internet any one that you prefer be it wireless be it lan whatever just connect to the internet the cloud browser will automatically open up as soon as you are connected like this so here you just have to select the connect to tor automatically because that's all we are interested in and connect it over here we just have to start our browser and our browser will be loaded and this is the tower browser that's now it will take some time because as i already said it takes three nodes it has three relay points so yeah of course the speed of net will be a bit slow so the just for just for reference let's search for DuckDuckGo website now this is the DuckDuckGo.com website but in darknet there's always dot onion dot onion url of every like dark web websites and DuckDuckGo is a dark web search engine so it has a dot onion page that's this one see so that's how you open the dark web if you access the dark web it's as simple as that you just need to have a secure setup and then do the legal stuff so that's all for today that's what i wanted to show right this screen record version of everything that i was trying to connect to internet using tails os in a usb module this mistake and cloud browser so that's it Thanks for watching and if you like this well, hit that like button maybe subscribe if you want similar content and comment if there's anything maybe some other new method that's even more secure than this or just your view regarding this approach that I just talked about so until then take care